Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera to all of you. So for this week, we are going to continue with the new chapter, which is chapter number three, Alkin and Cycloalkin. Okay. So for the lesson outline, as usual, we have introduction part. Next, continue with the structure and nomenclature. Also for IUPAC and common names, the Third part is the methods of preparations. Okay, for alkin only. Sorry, for alkin only. Next, we have reactions of alkenes and cycloalkenes, and continue with the simple test of alkenes. And last part is the uses. Okay, for introductions. Okay. Alkene is considered as unsaturated hydrocarbons because it contains at least a C double bond C. So, bila you ada bonding selain daripada single bond, K double bond ataupun triple bond, it is considered as unsaturated. Okay. So, next we have terminal alkene. Alkene and also internal alkene. Terminal alkene means that the double bond located at the first carbon. So for internal alkenes, so means that the double bond is located at the center or other than first carbon. Okay, and then we also have a cycloalkenes. So means that. In the cyclic structure, such as cyclobutane, cyclopentane, or cyclohexane, we have a double bond. So, meaning that they can jadi from cyclohexane. If you have one double bond, they can jadi cyclohexane. All right. And the hybridizations is a sp two. So, for the geometrical structure, they are in the bentuk trigonal plana. So, the bond angle is 120 degree. Okay. So, the general formula for alkene is CnH2n. And this one is only applicable for compound that contain only one double bond. Okay. So, maksudnya kalau structure tu hanya ada satu double bond, so, you boleh gunakan general formula CNH2N. But if the structure contain more than one, which is 2, 3 or 4, or bigger than that, so this general formula is not applicable. Sebab makin banyak double bond, you akan makin kurang bilangan hydrogen. Okay, so means that this general formula is only for compound that contain only one double point. Alright. So, next part is the nomenclature. So, as usual, you have these four basic rules. The first one is to find your parent chain. So, the longest continuous carbon chain is your parent chain. But for this one, you must include the carbon, double bond carbon. Okay, because you have this functional group. So, meaning that um, the parent chain, okay, it is the longest continuous that include the carbon double bond. And then for the numbering, before this, for previous chapter, so we will consider the branch to be at the lowest carbon number. But since we already have a functional group of C double bond C, so... This functional group must be at the lowest carbon number. And then, baru you consider the branching. Okay? So, your first priority is the double bond. Second, okay, baru you consider branch. And then, the third step is to locate and name your substituents. And the last part is to arrange according to alphabetical order, as usual. Okay, so for the nomenclature, okay, we have three types, which is the first one is the basic alkene, and then we have alkenols. So as you can see, you have EN and OLs. So EN stand for double 
bond. OL stand for alcohol. So meaning that for alkenols is it is a compound that contain double bond and OH. Okay, so group yang macam ni, compound yang you nampak ada double bond ada OH, alright? So kita kena ada sebagai alkenols. And then the last one we have a cis and trans alkene. Okay, so I believe that you selalu dengar trans fat, okay? So, nanti kita akan belajar what is the trans structure and what is the cis structure. Okay, so for basic alkenes, okay? So, dia punya rules tetap sama. The first thing that you have to do is to find your longest continuous carbon chain. Okay, cumanya... Untuk you cari your longest continuous carbon chain, it must include a double bond. Okay. Kalau ada satu double bond, so must include satu double bond too. If you have more than one, such as you have two double bond in this structure, so you can include kedua-dua double bond too. So, for this structure, ini adalah you punya longest. Okay. So, this is your longest. So, you ada 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 carbon. Okay. It's actually, kalau you nak pilih. Okay, sekejap ya. This part. Yang hijau ni. As your longest pun boleh. There is no problem. Kenapa the second carbon ni tetap juga pada location yang sama juga. Okay, you punya CH3 ni, kedua-dua CH3 awak ni, yang warna, macam saya bulat hijau ni, semuanya attached to this second carbon. Okay, boleh. Tapi, if you nak pilih this one as your longest, you nak masukkan this CH3 part ni sebagai longest, tak boleh. Okay, kenapa? Satunya sebab dia memang kurang carbon. Second one, okay, you cuma ambil satu sahaja carbon pada double point. Untuk dalam parent chain, you kena make sure carbon A dan carbon B mesti dalam you punya longest continuous carbon chain. Only then, dia boleh jadi you punya parent chain. Okay, for example, macam ni. So, the longest adalah enam, which is hexane. So, bila dia jadi, ataupun this structure contain a double point, so dia akan jadi Hexin. So, this is example yang saya tunjukkan tadi. Kenapa? Okay, yang this one, even dia adalah 8 carbon. Tapi, kita tak boleh consider dia sebagai longest continuous carbon chain. Because, okay, pada carbon double bond, dia cuma included the B carbon. So, A dengan B, okay, tak termasuk dalam dia punya longest carbon chain. So, even though yang kat sini adalah tujuh carbon, tapi yang ini yang betul because the carbon uh, carbon double bond is included in the longest continuous carbon chain. So, yang ini salah. Sebab satu je. Yang ini tak termasuk, so tak boleh terima. Alright. So, and then for the rules number two, we continue with the previous examples. So, you can make sure double bond at the lowest carbon number. So, sama ada you start daripada atas ataupun you start daripada bawah. So, you check dulu locations of double bond. Okay. Kalau kita start daripada atas, double bond awak location number 2. So, dia paling rendah. Alright. So, kita dapat locations dia adalah 2 hexane. Longest is 6. Locations of double bond terletak pada carbon number 2. So, betul juga kalau you nak tulis cara macam ni pun boleh. Hex to in. Okay, either way. You boleh tulis to hex in. You nak letak hex to in pun boleh. Okay, sebab this thing merujuk kepada double bond location number 2. Okay. So, and then rules number 3. Locate and name your substituents. So, kat sini you ada 3 uh, metal group pada carbon number 2, carbon number 3. Tiga dan juga carbon number lima. So, dia boleh jadi 2, 3, 5 trimethyl. And rules number 4. Okay, susun ikut alphabetical order. Since you cuma ada metal saja, so tak perlu consider. 
Alright, so yang macam ni pun betul. Okay, yang ini pun boleh di terima. Dua-dua betul. Okay, tak kisah you nak letak to hex in ataupun you nak letak hex to in. Either way is correct. Okay, so uh, for the common rules, if you have two double bonds, okay, kalau tadi contoh eh, kalau hex sin adalah single bond, so dia jadi hex sin bila dia jadi double bond. And then if you have two double bond, dia akan jadi hexa. Okay. And then you boleh letak contoh lah if you double bond awak terletak pada carbon number 2 dan sorry carbon number 1 dan carbon number 2. So kita kena letak di in. Okay. Kenapa di dekat depan? In ni. Sebab yang kita ada adalah dua double bond. Kalau you letak di hexin bermaksud you ada dua hexin group. Okay. So, maksudnya you ada 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then you ada lagi satu. Okay, ini maksud dia dihexin. Okay, tapi kalau diin, so di pada double bond maksudnya kalau hexa, eh, saya sambung je. So, hexa maksudnya contoh ada 1, 3 kan? So, 1 dekat sini, 1 dekat sini, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, pada structure 6 carbon, you ada 2 double bond. Locations dia adalah pada carbon 1 dan carbon 3. So, 1 dan 3. So, if you confuse, you nak pilih 1 ataupun 2, kita cari yang lowest. Sebab tu kalau antara double bond awak antara carbon 1 dengan carbon 2, kita consider carbon 1. Kalau double bond awak antara carbon 3 dengan 4, kita consider carbon 3. So, this one yang kita akan consider as the locations dia. Alright, so for the next video, saya akan continue dengan examples untuk naming. Okay, thank you guys.